Greetings, dear friends. Here we are starting a new week, the first full week of August. And uh, here, here in Canada, it's actually a long weekend. So I um, hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And I hope you had a, long, a wonderful weekend if you're not having a uh, Monday off. So here we are starting a new week and just take a nice deep breath. We, what I'd like to do with you is we're going to go into checking what can we focus on letting go of in order to be more fully who we truly are. I'm actually really liking the energy of checking in of, about what, what we can focus on letting go of this week. Um, as I'm speaking to you, I'm just kind of shuffling the cards because we're kind of dropping in with a question together, dropping into what can we let go of. But the reason that I'm saying that it's, it's a good energy to, to look at what can we let go of is that we're actually halfway through the Mercury retrograde period that we've been working with. Mercury retrograde can sometimes feel like things are, are, are coming up from the past, sometimes feeling like you take two steps forward and then six back. So just time to realize that this is actually a nice gift. You, you get a chance to have things come back up to, to really truly get the gift from or, or understand more about how your process works. We all have different processes of how memories affect us, how the energies affect us. Uh, perhaps how we hold on to certain things gets impacted in different ways, just based on our own, our own heritage, our own who we are at the core. So having said all that, I think that's what the flavor is for this week. We're gonna keep going through this Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde. Halfway through is pretty cool too. And so, what we're going to focus on is obsessing how you look. So interesting that I was just saying that, that we all have our own ways of dealing with um, how memories come up. You know, oftentimes, particularly with the, the Mercury retrograde, people um, tell me things like, you know, that the, their electronics go and because it can sometimes do with, be related to communication, which is why you hear stories about uh, computers going on the fritz and 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 things like that, but um, obsessing how you look can kind of be too much, too much investment into how you think other people think you should be looking or or appearing or showing up, and it's it's actually a bit of an energy leak for you if you are getting too caught up in oh my gosh how you know what will people think or what will people say or or, or um, react if they knew that I was, sorry, there's something going weird with my computer. Here's me talking about, there we go, talking about how Mercury retrograde affects computers and then mine goes all funny here. Anyways, so see how that sits for you. How does um, obsessing how you look, what does, what what shows up for you with, with, when I say something like that? Do you get caught up in stories of how you need to, to be or, um, how you feel like you are appearing or showing up. And so let me read out to you, this is the guidebook that I have developed to go with this system. So I'm just gonna read out to you what the, I've written here about the obsessing how you, about how you look. Um, so what if you woke up this morning with only the things you were thankful for yesterday? We tend to forget that happiness doesn't come as a result of something we don't have, but of appreciating, appreciating everything we do have. Don't try and be perfect. Instead, practice accepting yourself exactly as you are. Stop judging yourself based upon your appearance or your body image or what you think your body image should be. There is so much more to a person than how much they, they weigh or what they look like or what kind of clothes they're wearing. Turn your focus instead to your strengths and attributes. Be wary of your inner critic. Yes, don't listen to your inner critic. Try practicing being grateful for what you do have. Don't get stuck into the victim mentality, the poor me syndrome. It'll keep you stuck and going nowhere. Perhaps the most important part of learning to like and accept our bodies as they are is being grateful for, for them and what they do for us. I'd love to hear how that resonates for you, how that how that shows up. Yeah, that's actually, it's beautiful timing for me. I'm actually changing up a bunch of things about my own physical care and self-care. Um, so kind of funny to see that one coming up um, just as I step into a bunch of changes. So I wonder, do you have any changes? Are things shifting and, and um, 
developing in a good way for you. So now we're going, so like I said, this week, and, and watch how that chat, that kind of pops up for, for yourself during this week about getting caught up about how you look. You know, I also say say that that how you look, but it could also be how you are perceived. You know, how, how do you speak? How are, are the words coming out of your mouth uh, modeling what it is you want to have people perceive you at? And are you obsessing over got to say the right thing or um, got to use the right languaging, that kind of things like that. So just see what comes up for you this this week. And as usual, I'm using the angel cards here and I like to pull three cards to see what kind of support or, or further guidance can we have um, to help us with this letting go process this week. So letting go. So we're going to let go of obsessing how we look. Oh, and this is beautiful. I think you're going to like this. They usually do. Uh, so focus. So watch where your focus is. So if you're really, so we're always remembering it, we are spiritual beings with this experience. And so when we turn our focus on to, oh my gosh, how am I going to be viewed or how am I going to be received or how is this, you know, that, that inner critic or that judge, watch where your focus is. You want to focus on being the absolute best version of you and also being very, very grateful for all aspects of your experience. And what that does is bring about spiritual growth. I really like that, that, that by really letting go of, you know, how do I look? How am I being received? Letting go of that actually allows you to line up, get in alignment with your own higher self, with your own spiritual core. And then the other part too is this one's body care. So that is like sometimes when we get really caught into how I how we look it's maybe there's a, a judge a judgment judgmental part saying you're not looking good enough and so then that turns back into well maybe your body just needs you to love and accept it as it is and then then changes can be made because that's the other part too with my whole letting go process is that I really truly believe that we can't change or improve anything until we actually accept everything that is in this moment I hope that serves you I hope that helps you I'd love to hear your comments and see how this works out for you this week. And I will be back here, same place, um, not necessarily the same time, because I kind of go, go flexible on when I can, when I show up and do this. But thank you for watching. And I look forward to hearing how this letting go process works for you this week. Much love.